Amen. All right. All right. During entertainment in the 1930s, I kind of jumped. I forgot to start it. We're actually down to, uh, we talked about that kids, that people did things for fun, just not a lot of money and stuff like that. Pretty inexpensive. Uh, we talked about how movies were like a dime, but minimum wage was 25 cents sometimes. So, yeah, yeah it added up. Uh, and we're talking about the golden age of radio. About 40% of the people had a radio, which means six out of 10 did not. Uh, then I joked about how when I was a kid, when we had a radio, we, we, you, you sat around and you looked at the radio as you were listening to it. I don't know why you looked at the radio to listen to it, but you did. Uh, and then some of the shows that people did listen to. Uh, people also got their first news from the radio. Uh, this included the fireside chats given by uh, President Roosevelt. Uh, he was the yeah, first yeah. president. He came on and he would give, he was the first and they person. called them fireside chats because, uh, because people would sit around their radios, and of course they had fireplaces and things like that oh, to help keep the house warm. And he would give them basically an update as to how the country was doing. Because remember, the Great Depression is going on, and he's putting all these new deals in place. And he would come in and basically give an update as to how things were going. He was trying to keep, I guess, morale up during some very difficult times. Um, going to the movies was a very popular pastime during the 1930s. Uh, new technology allowed for movies to have synchronized sound. Up to this point, a lot of the, uh, they were, they were um, silent films. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you would have to ask. They Charlie would actually have a scene, and then you would read the subtitles would come up, and you would read what they said. Yeah. Okay. Uh, some of the movies made are still popular today. Uh, the Wizard of Oz. Oh okay. no. Gone with the Wind, which were the very popular. King Kong. Stop. The original King Kong. Oh, if you've ever seen that, if you've never seen it, you need to you need to find that and watch it. It is so. Uh, the for the time, it was really well done. You look at it now, and you're it was like, like a figure. "Oh my gosh, that's so sad." But for the time, the 1930s, it was pretty remarkable that they they, they did that. Okay, uh, Walt Disney released its first full length animated film. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. That's 1937. It did have color. Okay. Some of the popular movie stars included Shirley Temple, Clark Gable, and Will Rogers. And we'll, we'll kind of take a look at them tomorrow, perhaps. Uh, anybody know what the first cartoon that came out on the at the movies? What was it? The what? No. Well, it was. It, he wasn't called Mickey Mouse yet, though. Steamboat well, Willie? Steamboat yeah. Willie. He was oh, Steamboat yeah. Willie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was it. But he, he later, he becomes. He, basically, that character becomes Mickey Mouse. You're right. All right. Now, stop, stop. Baseball was very popular sport in the 1930s. It wasn't too expensive to go to a game, it was free for kids to play in the park. Uh, and, of course, the most famous team at the time was the New York Yankees. Uh, they had players like Babe Ruth, Joe DiMaggio, and Lou Garrett all on one team. That was three of the greats, and they're on one team. Yeah, they uh, So they were, they were an amazing team for, the 19, uh, for that time. Uh, the 1930s was a time all sorts of crazy contests. One popular contest was a marathon dancing. We're going to watch some of that tomorrow. Yeah, Couples right. would completely uh, compete to see who could dance the longest without stopping. And th some of these things would go on for days. What? What? What is it? Yep. Uh, sometimes the dancers days? would collapse, and but you had to keep moving. And some sometimes, you will watch the film, sometimes one partner is just dragging the other one around. trying to. But if you stop moving, you lost. And you could win cash prizes. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, you win $20. Other contests included goldfish swallow, live goldfish, and you see how many you can swallow. Snack okay. nuts. Kissing oh, marathons. Okay. I know, it sounds disgusting. Flagpole sitting. Well, I'll show you that. And of course, soapbox derby, which was still around even up through when I was a kid. Uh, soapbox uh, derbies. It was racist. I'll, I'll show you tomorrow. Uh, 
Monopoly was a very popular board game. Uh, it was about money and wealth. Uh, it was first published by Parker Brothers in 1935 during the Great Depression. A guy actually starts this. He sells it to Parker Brothers, and the guy that invented Monopoly actually becomes rich during the Great Depression. But he's making them just a few at a time, and it becomes very popular. So he's making them, selling them to friends and all. And Parker Brothers finds out about it through a, a friend's friend or something like that, and ends up he ends up selling it to them. And but does he make money? Becomes, oh, he makes he makes a bunch of money off of that. He makes a Monopoly. Disney started, I'm sorry, I'm talking. Disney started the Mickey Mouse Club in theaters in 1930. By 1932, it had over 1 million members. Crazy. Miniature golf was very popular fad during the yeah. 1930s. The first electronic corn-operated pinball machines were introduced in the 1930s. College football became very popular in the 1930s. Several new bowl games were introduced including the Orange Bow, the Sun Bow, the Cotton Bow, and the Sugar Bow. The, the Heisman the Trophy Orange. was first awarded in 1935. Okay, short and sweet. I'm going I'm to give you some uh, films. Just, you don't have to watch all of it, just to give you an idea. Uh, like The Shadow, Burns and Allen, they're all like 30 minutes each. Just kind of watch a couple minutes of each one of them to get an idea of what it was like, okay? Thank you.